What is going on guys? Are you in the market for a gooseneck kettle but you're just confused and not too sure which one to choose? You love the design of the stack EKG but you hate the price tag. Well, in this video, we're going to deep dive into some of the pros and cons between the Fallow Stack EKG and also the Time More Fish Cattle. And towards the end of the video, we'll share our verdict on which of these two cattles we prefer. So let's go. Hi, my name is Josh and I'm from His Brew Coffee Roastery, helping you to make better coffee decisions one step at a time. Now let's discuss about the price of these two cattles. The price of the stack is at 160 US dollars, while the price of the time more is at 100 US dollars. So a $50, uh, 50 percent price increase in terms of its price for this fellow stack. You might be asking yourself, is it really worth it? Well, let's first discuss about the capacity. The capacity for this stack is a 900 milliliter capacity, while the capacity for the time more is a 600 milliliter capacity. So. In terms of its size, this is way bigger. It can make you an average of three cups of coffee, while this time more would make you a maximum of two cups of coffee. So it really depends. If you're a home user, this is suitable enough, right? 600, it's more than enough for one cup of pour over or even two cups. While this 900 milliliter gives you up to three cups of coffee. Now, the next thing that we'll discuss is about the power wattage. Now, the power wattage for this stack EKG is 100 uh, is 1,200 watts while the time more is at 1,000 watts. Now, the reason why we are discussing this is because of the heat up time. The higher the voltage usually means the faster the heat up time. Now, next we'll discuss about the design of the uh, uh, cattle itself. The stack here just looks beautiful. It comes in both black and white. It looks really nice in its design and that's why you've, you've seen it People are buying this in droves just because of its design mainly, I would say. While the Time War, it's really popular now because of its price point and even its just functionality. In terms of its design, it looks okay. It doesn't look as nice as the Fellow, but it has all the features and functions that you're looking for in a particular um, a, a cattle. And, and, and it works great for us. We've been using these two cattles for more than two years and none of them have broke down on us yet, right? So. Functionality wise, both gets a, a, a thumbs up for me and both are really used nice in terms of its uh, uh, design. Now, we'll discuss about the temperature adjustment. So for the fellow, let's let's first just, um, let's just first discuss about the temperature adjustment for the fellow. Now the fellow, how you turn it on is you have a jog dial here, you press on it, it turns on. The way you adjust the temperature is just by turning this dial here, right? This dial here gives you the turning um, or adjustment of how you want or what temperature you want to set it at. And as soon as you set it, you put your kettle on it and there you go. It starts heating up, right? It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Really like the design of the turning jog dial. Well, the time more has a little bit of issue. Now, if you look at the time more, you can see this is the current temperature that it's reading. While this right here shows the temperature that you're setting at or what temperature you want it to heat up to. In order to change the temperature, you would have to slide on this slider, which is honestly not very intuitive after, um, not very accurate too. So let's say if I want to go up to 95 degrees, it's really pain. Like sometimes I would get it, sometimes I would miss it by one degree and basically just got to uh, uh, get used to this sliding pad here, right? Hopefully they would change the design, right? And, and make it more of a touch pad or even just like a jog dial. Uh, a turning circle that would be way easier, right? Um, now, we'll discuss about the handle and the ergonom ergonomics of it, right? Now, if you look at this two and you see the handle, the timer handle basically curves up like this and the way you hold it is you have a thumb here, your thumb up here and all your fingers and your index fingers, it's on the handle itself. Um, in terms of its um, um, usability of it, I think it's really nice. Um, no complaints about it. You could put your thumb here too, to basically angle it a bit more and hold it on top here like this, right? So depending on how, I have a really small hand, so it depends on how you hold it. Um, both ways, I think it's, it, it's um, both handles, I think it's really uh, okay. The difference here between the uh, fellow here is that the handle, it's basically you put your thumb right on this resting point here, which is pretty smart, right? And um, it's not as, in terms, it's not as, um, uh, 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 slanted as the time more, but you still could pour it and pour a very nice, uh, have a very nice flow in terms of its pour. 
Now, in terms of its weight, right, the Tefalo, obviously, it's way heavier just because of its bigger size and bigger capacity, while the Time War is uh, a smaller and nicer on the hand. So uh, it depends whether you want to hold something that's heavier or lighter, right? And let's discuss about the heating speed. Now, we've tested this uh, in terms of uh, uh, both this, this kettle. And what we found out is when we put 500 milliliters in both of this, um, uh, 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 both of this kettle, what we found out is the time warp took almost three minutes for it to heat up up to 93 degrees, while the stack only took a minute and 40 seconds to heat up from room temperature all the way to 93 degrees. Now, so there's a huge difference there, a minute 40 and three minutes, right? Almost more than a minute extra for the time warp. So in terms of heating time, time warp is obviously slower. Not too sure about the 800 milliliter capacity, which has a higher voltage that might be faster, but if you're just brewing at home, you know, you can wait for two minutes to, 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 to almost three minutes, doesn't really matter, unless you are always in a rush, right? Well, this for commercial use is definitely recommended just because of the speed of the heat up time, right? Good. The last we'll talk about is the flow rate. The flow rate of this two varies tremendously. We've tested this time more. The time more's flow rate starts at one gram per second, it can go all the way to about 20 to 24 grams per second. So that's a huge variation in terms of its speed of pour, right? Whereas the fellow here, it goes from one gram, it can probably go up to 16 grams per second, 18 grams per second, that's about it, right? So it's not as fast in terms of its pour rate. So if your pouring technique requires you to pour a huge amount of flow, choose the time more instead of the stack, right? The stack has more of a precision pour because it actually has a uh, restrictor here, flow restrictor. And what it does, it, it allows you to pour it in a very gentle manner and in a very accurate manner, right? Now, conclusion. In, with regards to the pour, I actually prefer the time more. The biggest reason is that the time more, if you look at the spout, just the design of the spout itself, the time more allows you to go as close to the bed of the coffee grounds as possible when compared to the stack. The stack, when you were to pour it, it you were, the, the height from the pouring to this, the bed of the coffee, it's just too much. And that would give you a bad pour, a pour that, or at least a pour that's not so desirable. I like to pour my coffee as close to the bed of the coffee as possible, right? So to the tip of the spout all the way to the bed of the coffee, I like it to be as close as possible. It gives me, it, it, it kind of gives me the precision that I'm looking for. Not to say that fellow is not precise, it's just that the, the height from the tip of the spout all the way to the bed of the coffee, it's wider. And so with my technique of pouring, um, I prefer the time more, right? It allows more range of motion, it allows faster pour rate, and if I want it to be precise, it also gives me that. So just because of the design of the spout, I would give a time more a hands down. Now for you that is at home and you're trying to figure out, well, you know, the EKG looks really nice and you don't mind spending a bit more, but you're thinking, hmm, should I get the time more? Well, I'll just say this. If you're a first time gooseneck cattle user, right? A home buyer, start off with the time more. Try it out, see if you like it, it can last you for two, three, four, five years, right? You shouldn't have much of a problem. Now, if you want to upgrade to something that is nicer, then you can start upgrading to the stack. The stack has tremendous functionality. It's really nice design. Well, while your friends on the kitchen countertop, um, and, and it gives it, it, it marks all the check box. It's just that when you compare the price differences and even just the spout design, I would have to give the time more a win this time. But what about you out there? Do you prefer the stack more than the time more or do you like them both? Let me know in the comment down in the section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.